Hurricane Katrina making landfall as we speak as a Category 4 hurricane with winds around the center of 150 miles per hour. Conditions going downhill here in New Orleans. We have reports south of town of 3 to 10 inches of rain. That's Doppler estimates, but flooding already occurring in the area. You're watching First Outlook, everyone. A historical time. This is the, the fourth strongest hurricane in the Atlantic Basin now making landfall. And its effects are going to be far-reaching, not just on the Gulf Coast, mm -hmm. but farther toward the north, too. And that's what we want to emphasize here as we show you the seven-day forecast in the Business Planner. Look up and down the eastern United States, and you're going to see rainfall. Already this morning, we've seen some heavy rainfall around the central portions of Ohio and on into Maine, and with ground that's going to be saturated no doubt we're going to see some flooding as the remnants of Katrina continue to push northward over the next couple of days. We're looking for 5 to 10 inches of rainfall here around uh, the Gulf Coast all the way to the Tennessee Valley. And with classes just getting started here at many universities, we're going to find some of those second days of classes really inundated with rainfall here around, say, Middle Tennessee State University, northward up toward uh, old portions of Pennsylvania and into West Virginia, too. So we'll be on the lookout for more heavy rainfall and even some scattered amounts of 15 plus inches of rainfall. Scattered showers around portions of Montana and into the Seattle area today and to, into tomorrow, I should say. But southward, lots of sunshine, lots of warm temperatures here, and it looks like the west coast is going to continue to bake underneath that sunshine on into midweek. We will see a, a better chance of a bit of rainfall here around portions of the northern plains, but the heavy rain continuing here from the Great Lakes on eastward, four to eight inches from the Ohio Valley into the eastern Great Lakes for both Tuesday and Wednesday means that flooding could be a threat. It could be a life-threatening situation here over the next few days as more rainfall continues to come down from the remnants of Katrina. Thursday, a little bit less of an impact here around the northeast and of course a lot less impact here around the south. The rain will be over, but the devastation, of course, that is certainly to occur with Katrina will go on. A lot of beach has already been eroded, will continue to be so. So beachgoers may have a tough time here for the foreseeable future, even though the dry weather and the sunshine will return. On into Friday we go, and as we head toward the weekend, we're looking at a lot more sunshine from coast to coast. It looks a lot better as far as, uh, as the lack of rainfall. Just a few isolated thunderstorms in the Intermountain West. Could see some of that in western Washington as well, and a few scattered showers here around northern New England. Saturday's forecast brings more sunshine still, not only to some of the same areas that we'll find it here on into Friday, but even into New England as well. A few scattered showers into Florida and toward the northern plains and the mountain areas. Sunday's forecast looks equally as dry and we're going to deserve this dry weather after several days of heavy rainfall here, particularly around the Great Lakes, around the Northeast, around the Mid-South, and the Southern States. Let's check out the temperatures and what changes may occur here, Kim. Well, we will see temperatures coming back up after we get rid of some of that rainfall from Katrina, and that's going to spread right through the Ohio Valley, as Nick talked about. Temperatures will be cut down into the 70s. Now, here along the Gulf Coast, of course, a lot of you heading back home will deal with temperatures in the 90s here in New Orleans as well along the Gulf Coast. Look at the 90s coming right back in. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Be prepared if you're coming home and there's some damage um, around your home that you're going to be there with temperatures and heat indices, maybe the 90s up near 100 degrees. It's going to be very uncomfortable. 60s and 70s across the upper Midwest. Here in New York City and Boston, we're going to be in the 80s, it looks like, on Wednesday. And as you know, we get closer to the weekend. We're getting into September, and it's Labor Day weekend, too. A lot of you will be traveling maybe out of Chicago, where temperatures will be in the 80s, heading up to Minneapolis. You'll be dealing with these temperatures into the 70s. How about some barbecues and picnics planned this weekend or parades? We will see 80s across parts of the southeast. Those 90s, though, continue here along the Gulf Coast and uh, here in the southwest. We cool down a little bit in Phoenix, maybe up around 100 degrees or so. And Sunday, it looks like 60s here in Seattle and in Portland. The eye of Katrina making landfall right now just east of Grand Isle, Louisiana. Of course, we've got the very latest on the storm's position and the impact, so keep it right here. We'll be right back. 